So we don't like waiting and our culture has become more and more uh, geared towards uh, rapid convenience. You can even see it in the trend, uh, trends of social media. So the, the videos are becoming shorter and shorter because our attention spans are becoming um, shorter. So the, the, some of the most popular clips now, the shortest clips. Um, so YouTube, they run um, diagnostics or they run algorithms on videos and the videos that people continue to watch are the videos that they promote. So if people stop watching the video in the beginning, then then the YouTube will not punt it. But uh, but yeah, from a from a behind the scenes point of view, and a medical practice, waiting has um, is obviously something that uh, is is uh, a big part of medical practice, um, mainly for the for the people, uh, not for the practitioners. So we starting the practice you know, from scratch without any, without any um, patient base, we had to, we had to, um, you know, put our best, best foot forward. And, and so we strive to keep appointments and run on time. Um, and as a medical practice, this, this can be quite challenging because it's not easy to always fit um, the the consultation neatly into a set time period, um, especially if you're wanting to give quality care. It's it's really not easy, but um, but we've we've tried our best, and so we often run late because we try to give quality care, um, and and uh, at the same time just being mindful of the people that are waiting. So you, you're keeping the person in the waiting room in, in your mind. Um, so, so, yeah, that's just a little bit. I mean, I've had really a lot of different um, experiences of, of waiting times. I mean, I worked in Livingston Casualty. Um, sometimes being the only doctor on call which was not ideal and having 20, 20 plus people who were quite ill waiting for, for, for me, um, it was just ludicrous. And that's, you know, that's, um, that's sort of the, the, the end of the spectrum is probably worse than that, but, um, you know, that's, that's compared to, private GP practice, which, which um, the waiting times are, are very, very much better than that. But uh, yeah, I just, just want to then take this conversation a, a bit deeper to a spiritual level um, and talk a bit about waiting for God. Um, we're not really good at waiting and uh, and there was a time at the practice where things got really tough and I thought about throwing in the towel um, and, and I felt in a sense that the only way I could go on was to not take control of the situation. It was not to, not to um, strive you know, to, to change things. But the only way I could go on was to wait, uh, to wait on God, to wait for His intervention. And so I remember a key moment where things were, were really tough. Um, I won't go into the details, but I remember saying to God, I, I, don't, I don't have patience to wait for this situation to get better, but I have patience for you. I can wait for you. I can 
I can give you that um, and I can trust you to to bring things um, into alignment or to bring relief or to save us from this situation and and I think yeah just to encourage you out there if you're in a situation that is tough that uh, relationship that is difficult um, financial situation or health situation and you need relief or you need saving from um, sometimes the the best course of action is to is to wait not passively um, but in hope wait actively upon God in prayer um, and hope 